Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Greg Russell and one of my clients asked me about the best theme for WordPress. So we're gonna take a couple minutes, about uh, 10 minutes, and go through uh, the very best themes you can use for your WordPress website. So let's dive right on into it. All right, so here we are at the uh, WordPress uh, .org website. If you click on Extend, you get a pull down and you can click on Themes. And here you can look through all these uh, default WordPress themes, okay? So uh, just click on this 2010 here. And this is usually the one that comes with the new 3.0 and higher WordPress uh, website. Get a, get a quick look at it here. So with the themes that come with WordPress, and there's lots of them and they're free, however the layout is, is basically what you're stuck with. So you're stuck with here with the content area over here on the left, and you're stuck with the archives and uh, any other widgets areas over here on the right, okay? And how these themes work is whatever you see is, is pretty much what you get. So here's some with some different backgrounds, et cetera, et cetera. And these, are work, these work great for uh, guys who are just, you know, doing some, some blogging, but not necessarily for business. So what I want to do is show you the themes that actually work best for business. Now, there's one very popular theme that a lot of the uh, internet marketers and so-called so information marketing expert use, and it's called the thesis theme. Now, uh, if you click over here, you can watch this video. It's about a, it's about 22 minutes long, and it goes through what thesis is and how it works. And thesis was one of the first themes where you could actually change the layout. And if you watch this video, you'll see what I mean. So they can change the layout. They can have pages with two columns, three columns, or one column. All right, so you can actually change the layout and thesis. And it was the first one to do that, so it's pretty popular. Okay. Um, and so this is the the uh, thesis theme, okay? And it, in my opinion, it's pretty, a little bland, but it does the job for you to have multiple layouts because as a business owner, you may need a, a theme that only has one column for your sales pages. And then you may wanna have another type of layout for just your blog where you can have things um, in your widget area for just your blog. And then you may wanna have um, another layout for other different types of pages and thesis um, allows you to do that. It was the first one to allow you to do that. So then came along another theme that's uh, very popular and it's called the uh, flex theme, okay? And what flex theme did was allow you to create different layouts, all right? You could easily select these layouts and I'm gonna jump into one of the back offices here. So you could select, you know, this would be your header image and you can could choose whether you wanted your navigation above the header, if you wanted your categories be above the header both however you wanted you could set this up and then what you wanted below the header and then if you wanted um, widget areas right below the header and then where and how you wanted your sidebars and at the very bottom it gave you a layout of what's your a wireframe of what your website would look like once you're done okay and so here you can see this would be a wireframe of what the website would look at the content would be here so if this was a page, your page content would be here. If this was a, a blog, then your post would be here, okay? And everything else um, would be what the widgets are and what the header is, et cetera, okay? So that's the uh, flex theme. Now, the one thing about the flex theme is once you create your layout, then all your pages would be able to look like this. So this gave you some flexibility, thus the name, to uh, create, create whatever widgets, however many widgets you want, almost, you know, and you could change it at any time, which was the really cool thing about the flex theme. You could go in there and just add a widget or remove a widget and just hit update, and then your whole layout is changed. Um, so that's the good thing. The bad thing was you could only have one particular layout. Unlike, unlike Thesis, where you could have multiple ones, you could only have one, okay? Um, so Thesis was the first one, but since Thesis came out, um, there has been another one that, comes, that has come out that I think is really popular, and that is the headway theme. Okay, and uh, the headway theme, it allows you, like Thesis, to have multiple uh, layouts, but they have this visual editor that makes it really easy for you to set up um, your layout a little easier than Thesis, because if you're not necessarily a web developer and you don't know how to mess with CSS code, then Thesis may be a little challenging for the average user. However, headway themes is a lot easier to use. They have this... Uh, they have this short video, it's about uh, two minutes. We'll check it out right here. I'll show you what I mean. Welcome to Headway. Now you can make your custom WordPress website in about five minutes with no code required. Headway is as easy as point, click, drag, drop, and save. 
Make it all happen with your exclusive Headway Visual Editor. Check it out. Step 1. Grab your website header image. Headway will automatically build your site around any size header. Step 2. Customize your site. Not a coder? No problem. A custom site is as easy as drag, drop, and save. Need to put a rotating offer in your sidebar? Drag, drop, and save. And if you do write custom code, Headway allows you to use your own HTML, CSS, or PHP your way. Your Headway site works perfectly out of the box on Macs, PCs, and even on mobile browsers, like your iPhone. Headway is super easy to use, but if you hit a snag, we're here to help. Here are four different ways we've got your back. One, fast email support. Two, written documentation and video tutorials. Three, moderated forum support. Four, an active Twitter community. Headway is much more than a WordPress theme. It's the website creation tool anyone can use. Make your site look the way you want. Headway, it's not about code, it's about control. All right, so there we have a Headway theme. And um, from the video, you can see that it's, it's real easy to use. Um, I've used it before, and it's what I recommend. I recommend the uh, Headway theme over the uh, thesis theme. Um, it's a little newer. The, um, so the, the features and things they added are a little bit uh, easier to use than, uh, than the thesis theme. Uh, Headway is the only one that has where if you uh, add a header, it'll automatically grab those colors to make your uh, site match. And it's real easy to update and uh, change out your layout. And you can have multiple layouts throughout your site. So the theme that I recommend for, for businesses is Headway Themes. And that's the thing that I recommend. So I hope that answers all your questions regarding which theme you should use and what's the benefit over these or that ones. And uh, if you have any other questions, just let me know. But this is the theme I recommend. Talk to you soon.